Hello, and thanks for watching another Somerset Retail Review with me, Elvis. Um, got here another beer from the Flying Dog Brewery of Maryland in the USA. It's their Wild, Wild Man Farmhouse IPA. I'll try and get it to sort of zoom in so you can see all the beautiful craft, craft work, artwork on their, uh, their bottles. Um, I've had a few Flying Dog beers before on uh, on cask in Brewdog Bristol. Hopefully you can read all of that on there. Um, yeah, I was quite impressed by them. Um, I've just reviewed um, their classic pale ale, which is a good beer, but it wasn't anything amazingly exciting. So I'm hoping this will be something a little bit more exciting. 7.5% um, ABV in a 12 fluid ounce bottle. Otherwise known as a 355ml. Oh, nice, nice uh, bit of carbonation in there. Is the flying dog crown? Let's get a pour on. Whoa, that is really fizzing up. Seems I think they're sort of forced carbonated these beers. I don't think they're bottle conditioned. Massive head growing on this beer. Really fizzy. I can actually get some of the aromas from here. I'm going to try and get it all in. I don't think it's bottle conditioned. The last one wasn't. Wow, that is has just literally just got in there. Oh, it was bottle conditioned, this one. Don't know if you can see any condition in there. I haven't stirred it up anyway. It's been sat down in my beer beer store for ages, so the, the sediment is quite happily settled. Well, it's a nice sort of golden to amber in colour. Um, doesn't look like that. It's, I see that classic IPA look that you get in an American IPA. It's usually a bit more orange than this. Um, it looks more golden from when, where I'm sat. Maybe on the camera it may turn out to be a bit more orange, but definitely from where I'm sat with the light behind, it definitely looks more golden. Plenty of carbonation going on in there. Not so clear, but then like I say, it's, it is bottle condition so uh, you know you don't expect it to be perfectly clear nice white real foamy head on it um, let's see what it smells like <sighs> foam up the nose well um, yeah I noticed it says slightly spiced on the bottle <coughs> pardon me and uh, you can smell Sort of like a nice clovey uh, aroma in there. Definitely cloves, mild cloves. Um, slightly lemony. Um, there's not a great deal else on there. Or in there, but it's those spices are really standing out in here. Spice and lemon. Um, smells good anyway, I'm gonna go for it. Cheers everybody. Now that is different. I like that. It really has got that sort of clove taste to it, but it's a really bitter lemon. Uh, massive. That's what the, the stands out most in this beer is the real bitter lemon. Huge amount of carbonation on this beer which prevents me from chugging it. I haven't got this chilled, it is at room temperature, which is about 12 degrees centigrade or Celsius. Don't ask me what that is in Fahrenheit, I don't know. It's very fruity, but that lemon and cloves really stand out in this beer. I like it. Um, his axe is stained with blood of a thousand adversaries. We fall in behind him as he leads us into the darkness. He turns his gaze on us. Ten, ten, ten tanda via est. Don't know what that means. Uh, the way must be tried. Flyingdogbrewery.com. Um, well, there's not a lot of other information on them other than various health warnings and what have you. 
Um, Brewbus Spice India Pale Ale Farmhouse. Well, I like that. Um, I'd happily buy that again. Certainly, I am a little surprised with these Wild Dog beers. I would have expected, I know they're not West Coast IPAs, um, Maryland's obviously on the east side of uh, the US, um, and, and, and you know, West Coast IPAs, you kind of sort of expect, <laughs> I know it's a, a bit um, small-minded, but in the UK you expect, oh, American American IPAs, you expect them to all taste like your Sierra Nevadas and your, you know, you're you really sort of um, hoppy, sort of stone beers, real massively hot beers. And perhaps the East Coast, um, correct me if I'm wrong, is slightly less hoppy. Could be completely wrong. My knowledge of craft beer in the US is pretty much not worth knowing. Um, I really like this beer, um, but like I said, I did expect it to be a little bit more hoppy. Um, that said, it is a bloody good beer. A tiny little bit too carbonated for me, but that's just a personal personal thing, I'm not a big fan of carbonation, huge carbonation in a beer. I'd definitely drink that again. Love to try it on keg or cask or what have you. Um, right, so the World Man Farmhouse IPA and Flying Dog, let's give it a rating. Well, it's definitely better than the um, original Pale Ale, um, yeah, original Pale Ale I think it was. Um, which was a good beer, but it was a bit ordinary for me. It's got a lot more kick to it and a lot more flavour. Gonna get an 8 out of 10. Great. Thanks for watching. Love to see your comments in the comments box. Hopefully, you're joining in soon for another review. Cheers, everyone.